What's up everybody, it's Daydreams. Welcome back to the channel for another Clash of Kings video. If you're new here, consider subscribing. We do daily videos here on the channel. Make sure you tell your alliance, come over, check things out, and they will get better from watching all the guides and videos here on the channel. So guys, got something pretty cool today. So do you guys remember when I did the Kingdom 1599 video? So let me tell you a story about that. Geo, um, the guy who owned the castle, he hit me up and he said, look, the Chinese are bullying us in this kingdom. We've never got a throne. Um, you know, they're just, uh, they just outnumber us about two or three to one. And, you know, there's not a lot of leadership here. No one really, uh, knows what to do to make sure that they, uh, you know, uh, play fair with us. So I was like, okay, listen, give me a few days with the castle, maybe a couple weeks with the castle. We'll go in there and, you know, if they don't want to give us the throne, we'll take it. So here's how it went down. You guys can watch the videos, um, you know what, I'll put the links to the videos from 1599 in the description because they were really, you know, fun videos to make because I went there and they were just like, the Chinese were dumbfounded because they're like, wow, we've just been walking all over these guys for so long and now they're in our hive. Like, I ported to their hive and like three or four other of the one members, uh, that's the alliance name, one, W-N, or I mean O-N-E, and they ported there with me and we just hit everything, this monster hive with hundreds of bot farms i'm talking hundreds of bot farms well midway through the battle they sent me some coordinates to this number two castle in the kingdom a prestige three chinese castle um a family alliance of the um enemy there the chn alliance and what we did we rallied him i skill hit him and then i finished him off with a um, final hit and we stole his he had something like eight million mithril it was crazy like 20 million iron tons of resources so um a couple days later was the throne we went to the throne you know what i'm not even going to tell you about the videos i don't want to spoil them for you the links to those videos will be in the description they're must sees they're very good videos the throne one was really amazing what happened but i will tell you this about the throne we did take it back and eventually they conceded and not only did they give us that throne after losing millions and millions of troops and tens of millions of power it was a bloodbath not only did they concede that throne they actually gave them a few thrones in a row to make up for the the 10 thrones that they had taken in a row without sharing so it's just a great story from kingdom 1599 and that's why we're going to start operation tyrant takedown where i will be coming to some of your guys's kingdoms okay and i will be restoring order and making sure that you guys get your share of the throne because if you're not taking thrones in this game you're really not playing the game that's what this game is you're either a top three alliance taking thrones sharing thrones doing something with the throne or you're not playing the game if you're just sitting out in an alliance like chilling by yourself or if you're just like a number 15th alliance like just you and a few buddies that's not how the game works you need to merge or you need to quit there's no like middle ground stop wasting your time you got to feel the thrill of winning the throne and um the way this could work is the way geo did it he just let me get on the castle for you know a couple hours a day go and do damage make some videos and as i promised him i won't lose any power on it i'm a very smart player guys and especially if i'm playing with someone else's castle i'm not going to lose any power on your castle maybe hitting tiles i'll be hitting farms and i'll be doing skill hits nothing else unless you give me permission to like maybe lose a few hundred thousand power if we're taking out a priority target i'm talking top 10 castles in the kingdom so if you guys want to sign up for this here's the thing guys i need something that i can fight with okay like uh geo had a prestige three and the biggest castle there was prestige four almost prestige five and then they had a couple other prestige threes and prestige twos and thirties um if i don't have a top 10 castle it needs to be at least level 30 or a prestige castle and it at least needs to have enough power and have enough embassy room to where i can't be zeroed in just a couple hits like i need to be able to actually do work guys um you know if you've got people in your you know kingdom over 100 million 200 million power might be pretty hard for me to do it we'll talk about it leave a comment down below with the credentials of your kingdom let me know like the top three strongest castles on the enemy side uh let me know a little backstory of your kingdom and i'll be um getting in touch with some of you guys and maybe i can help you take back your kingdom um while i'm there i'll be doing recruiting for you i will try to um get your alliance pumped up and motivated to help uh take stuff back we'll get organized for the throne we will organize the hive we'll do everything that needs to be done to ensure victory and hopefully 
we can take back a lot of your guys' kingdoms. I know some of them are too far gone, trust me. I understand that if it's too far gone. But, um, you know, as long as there's still hope, and if, and I'll be honest with you guys, I'm not going to go and do this if I think that I could get your castle zeroed. I don't want to do that to any of you, because kingdom merges or kingdom jumping will be happening soon. There's a 50-50 chance of one or the other. It's going to be kingdom jumping or kingdom merging. Hopefully it's jumping so we can all team up, but if it's merging, then we'll just have to keep fighting um, other kingdoms and stuff. But, the reason I don't want to zero you in case you, well, I don't want to zero you, period, but... If there's merges, then you can hopefully team up with some people from the other kingdom that are like-minded as you. And hopefully you guys can, uh, you know, take down the bullies. So, hopefully this works, guys. Leave it down below the castle level of your castle level. The top three enemy castle levels. Give me a small, you know, details about the kingdom and everything. How many thrones you've had. How many thrones they've had. How old is the kingdom. Kingdom number. Uh, give me the coordinates to your castle in the kingdom so I can check it out. I'll look at it, see if it's something I can work with. And if it works with me and it works with you and if you trust me with it, then maybe we can do something to make sure that you guys get a little taste of that sweet, sweet throne glory. Because, uh, you know, it's a great feeling winning your first throne. It really is. That's the, you know, if they're, it's one of the few pure things left in this game is probably winning either uh, the throne or winning maybe a dragon campaign playoffs. So... Guys, if you want to subscribe, click in the middle of the screen right there. If you want to watch a Clash Royale video, click in the top left right there. If you want a Clash of Kings video, um, click um, bottom left right there. If I can find the two 59.9 videos, I'll put them at the top right and top um, top right and bottom right. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember that teamwork makes dream work. Be sure to smash that thumbs up button. It takes one second out of your day, and it puts a smile on my face for the rest of the day. So I'll see you guys in the next video tonight. Peace.